Tools channel. In this video you'll see a tool review. I'm going to do the Tough Built Tote Bag, 200mm, 8 inches, and the Milwaukee Packout Tote Bag, 250mm, 10 inches. Let's get on with it. I've just received this, new to, to go in my Packout, that I use all Packout kit. So I got this so I can clip this on top of my uh, box when I'm going from a job to job or moving around the site I'm on. I've had this one for about 10 years plus now. Um, so it's done served me well, but it's time to move on because I, I couldn't clip this on top of my pack out, even though I have attempted to, as you can see there, by putting the um, pack out um, feet on. Onto there and trying to use that, but it didn't work very well. The idea behind this one was that you could use this bag and you could use um, the tough built belt kit as well that you could put on harnesses or put the suspenders on to use as a tool belt. So you could put your normal day to day tools in here that you take with you. What you can also do on this one is you can get your pouches I've just talked about that clip onto the, the belt kit and you can clip any of the tough built's pouches directly onto there just by means of a clip. And to lift off you just take that there and lift it straight off they do varying types this is the carpenter's one that part there is for your uh, six inch speed square and then a big pouch to, to put the bits in like fixings and like i've already talked about there's a hammer loop you know you can carry that just instead of putting the pouch on on my tool belt which i've just purchased which i won't discuss today is here my leather tool belt and as you can see i've got some of the tough belt on it I could put on here just my um, tapes and things. I can also clip that onto there if I wanted to. But my intention is to use this now as a pouch and take these off and this one off to suit what job I'm on. Or am I even looking at putting one of these clips onto this bag? I don't know yet. Maybe another video. If I get 10 likes or 10 um, comments on it, I may do a review on this and show you if I put it onto this one. So I'm moving on to the Milwaukee. I bought this, as I've already said, to clip onto my packet boxes because I was struggling a little bit to carry all the gear with me. And what I'm obviously noticeable with these two is the size. I've already said this is 200mm square, this is 250mm square. So, noticeably, you can see inside this one, there's a lot of space here to put things. But there's three compartments in this one, which I actually quite like for separate tools and keeps the tool nice and tidy. Whereas I believe this one, at the moment, I haven't tried it out yet because I've only had it yesterday, there's quite two big pouches and I think you're going to get a lot of tools are sort of lost against each other there. You might be able to separate them very well, but we shall see. There's a strap there, which there is on this one, uh, on that one as well. I like to put things like a bit of reel of uh, electrician's tape on there, if nothing else, making little plasters. Um, so yeah, we did to try that one. I have looked at this um, many times before and because I'd got this one, I didn't really want to spend the money, but I had to bite the bullet and buy this one. At the minute, I'm glad I did. Zip on the side there as well, I've just noticed. I've noticed that before. If you look inside the pack out, you've got um, lots of little tiny pouches in there. Both sides, which look uh, look quite good. And so I haven't packed this out yet, so I wouldn't quite know what I'm going to get in it compared to what I used to have in, in this one. So, yeah, I'll have to try this out first. But what I can say is, is that there is only one sort of divider, if you like, in the middle of here. So... I don't know how quite how that's going to serve me. I hadn't really noticed it and looked at it when I bought it. So that could be my first error. It has got two big pouches on the sides there. So I'm hoping to uh, utilise those with something. On the side here, I know for definite I'll be able to get my pencils and my uh, nail punches, etc. in there. There's a zip on the side here as well as on the front. On that one as well. They don't look very deep, so I don't think I'm going to get much in there at all. Because they won't, because they, they close quite tightly, so... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get in there. I'll have to. I'll have to see. Just to give you a comparison, this one it's actually got three separate dividers, and it has got the little loops here. And this little pouch here, which I, because I've had it for so long, I found a use for all of these pouches, all of these uh, little slots and holders, and they were really useful for me. Um, so yeah, there's this. The other good thing about this is it does clip open as well. That clips open, so you can actually get access into your bag, as opposed to this one. It's bolted both sides, so yes, it's bigger, so you're not going to have the issue of getting into it either side. But this one, it does open up straight away, so you can get into it, not a problem at all. And that just clips back on again. 
like that. When I purchased this, I paid just under £50 for this one. Um, and they're in short supply. I got this from SGS. There are other companies that I've used in the past, but I'm sure you'll search, like I, you'll search Google, you'll search Amazon, but they're not necessarily cheaper on Amazon at the moment because they are in short supply. So Amazon must have realised this and put the price up. This one, I only had a quick look this morning, so I got an accurate figure. It was £45 on Amazon, but there was only a couple of them left. So again, if you are going to get one, Amazon might be your only, your only option for that. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I haven't gone too much into depth because I know that you'll do your research like I do. I look at the reviews. I go to people like me. I hope you come to my video and get some benefit from this one. I always go to reviews on YouTube to find out what people are doing, what people are not doing. So I haven't put any tools in it just because you, I don't know what trade you are. So there's no point me doing that, I don't think. I will, like I've already said, if I get 10 likes or 10 comments asking me to, I will do another video going through what a carpenter has in his tool belt or what I do for me personally. And I will then use all the tools that I've got in this bag and put them into here and just see how it fits and see if I like it. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.